playing now we'll get this nice landing that looks good when you are running or you are standing in still Hello and welcome to this new exciting uh, tutorial series about advanced uh, blueprint tutorials with AGR Pro which is a new plugin available on Marketplace for free. Um, I'm still using a developer's version of it but you can just download it directly through Marketplace and enable it and we'll be starting to work with just the standard third person uh, template which already has some input uh, defaults and a default character. And if you are familiar with uh, this template, uh, you know how this character works, how it animates, it has a jump, basic land, and that's everything. So <clears throat> let's start uh, working our way up through this template and add some new functionalities to it. So first of all, we'll delete this guy, we don't need him anymore. Let's move our starting location to his previous position. Make sure that it's rotation is forward and let's clean up the project itself because this is how it looks and so let's hide this one now let's maybe use this as base so basically this is environment Okay, blueprints, maps, okay. So this, this, this goes here. Now we need to fix up redirection and we can delete those two. And now we have the entire template inside here and everything is made in such a way that fits um proper folder however we should even put mannequin into a separate folder called characters and let's just move them here <coughs> okay and we got everything set up so this is the basic third person uh, blueprint content let's make our own new folder and we'll call it agr inside here we need blueprints Mm, yeah. Inside blueprints, we're going to need at least two new objects. One will be game mode base, and we'll call it uh, GM AGR examples. And we're going to set up for this map as a default um, game mode. So, whatever we set up inside this game mode will be. Um, global for this map or any map that's using this game mode so let's set up a new character which will be a character class but we can either create an empty character class if your character class uses a different parent than the standard one or we can type and find agr uh, character so let's use this one and call it bp player character or yeah that's fine and let's set up this as default player's uh, pawn. Okay. And if we open this character, it's just a basic character with just few minor changes to the setup of some components and collisions. And not really much is different to it. It also has one extra component added by default, which is the AGR Anim Master component. If you are working with a new uh, character class or you're trying to add this functionality to your already established character class all you have to do is just type AGR inside context browser when you are adding a component and fight AGR anim master when you add this AGR anim master uh, you can start using it to drive your animations so let's save it let's change the mesh to our uh, mannequin let's move it minus 88 and let's rotate it by minus 90 to look forward and let's see if our capsule half height is 88 so our mesh by moving minus 88 is being zeroed out on the base 
Okay, this character right now doesn't have any animations. Uh, it doesn't have also any inputs or any uh, locomotion whatsoever. So let's add a new graph and we'll call it inputs. And what we want to do right now is to go into third person examples, blueprints, third person character, and just go into event graph and copy all the inputs, paste it here. Delete inputs we do not want. Uh, compile and save and there is this one variable there are those two variables that we don't have here so we can just create them by clicking create and we can copy their default values so 45 and 45 into those variables so let's compile and let's type in 45 45 compile and save Okay, so right now this character has exactly the same functionality as the previous character. However, it doesn't have uh, any camera, so let's add a camera as well. Let's just add component and let's say uh, spring arm. We've added a default spring arm and on that default spring arm, we'd add a camera. So we now have spring arm and camera and we can type in any uh, socket offset, let's say uh, 55 and 45 and this is the camera offset uh, in compared to the root let's say the target arm length is at uh, 300 it's fine and camera let's change the FOV to something smaller like 77 instead of 90 and this should be everything use pound control rotation on the spring arm and i'm spring arm uh, will make same rotations on our mouse movements we don't need this anymore let's go to our example map let's hit play and we have our character and we can move and rotate him but he's not running any animations however the basic um, behavior of this character is same as the third person uh, character example so let's build this guy an animation blueprint so let's make a new one animation animation blueprint let's pick up our mannequin skeleton and as parent class for this animation blueprint uh, the default one is anim instance but we are going to use agr core anim instance this one and once we create that we're going to call it animation blueprint uh, AGR underscore core maybe something like that and double click it and once you open this blueprint uh, you will see that it doesn't uh, it looks exactly the same as the uh, default one the only difference is this one here and this small setup however if you go here and say show inherited variables you will now find that there are new variables here uh, under the root of AGR and there are components, uh, states that are gameplay tags, aim offset uh, rotation, um, runtime variables that we do not usually read and there are some movement velocity uh, variables, states, uh, leans and setup variables that you already see uh, in the uh, class default uh, site here. So we'll just save this and let's work with this in a second. So first of all, let's go to our third person character uh, animation blueprint and let's see how it works. So if we open this character, we click on the mesh, find its blueprint we have it here and inside the event graph we have some events and some uh, checks and then we have the anim graph which just has a default uh, state machine and this state machine has idle run which is a linear um, blend space and then jump start jump loop and jump end uh, <clears throat> okay so let's do something similar let's go to uh, our core and Let's first of all go into walk, third person walk. Okay, no, uh, let's find those animations. Where are they? Okay, so they are here. We have this third person idle run 2D, which is a blend space uh, one dimensional from idle to slow walk to running. So this is how it works. Um, 
Okay. Um, how is it called? It's called third person idle run 2D. Okay. So uh, idle run 2D, we have this one. And we have a variable input of speed. We don't have something called speed, but we do have inside movement uh, velocity. So let's take our uh, velocity. Let's hide all those that we do not use. Let's take our velocity. Let's just connect it to our output pose. Compile, save, and we can run this example again. Oh, one more thing. We have to go into our character, select mesh, and specified animation blueprint class to be our a uh, animation blueprint AGR core. This one. Compile, save, and we can go back into example and play. And now our character has, in general, same behavior at the, as the third person uh, character that we already tested. However, it doesn't have uh, any jumping state. You can see that it's actually reading our velocity when jumping and it doesn't look so good when he's turning in place so we can use uh, some other variables that are not exposed in the standard animation blueprint but they are here so for example instead of velocity we can get forward velocity and forward velocity uh, is what it states just the forward velocity of the uh, character so now when we are turning in place we are almost not moving so our velocity is not changing so we're not running in spot and when we jump we do not read our uh, z velocity as well so it's only reading velocity from our walking state so uh, let's add jumping and go here and we can do uh, one of few things we could turn it into a state machine like it has in the third person example map but we can also just take one of the states which is in air, air and then we can do blend pose by bool and if we are in air false then we go here but if in air is true we go into jump and let's say that our blend time is 0.2 and now when we hit play if we jump we see this uh let's go back here ah because it's not jump it's uh, jump loop because jump is the jump start so let's go back into our example hit play let's jump and now we are jumping but there is no blend on landing and there's no blend on jump start we can solve this in two ways one of which is creating a state machine and this will be in air state machine and we're going to take this and say add state entry and from this entry we're going to add state and say in air and we're going to paste our jump loop here and on our entry pulse which is the default one we're going to say jump and this is the jump start so jump start is not looping animation and this transition is based on automatic rule based on sequence and there is never a comeback to the entry so we'll keep going with uh, inner here and now if we put it here we'll have a jump start You can see that he's doing the jump start and then in a loop, but he's never doing a landing, right? So we can either do it also in the state machine, like it was done before, but the proper way to do it is actually inside the event graph of a character. And there's a special event called on landed. And on landed triggers whenever a character was falling or jumping only. Uh, so it doesn't trigger on uh, flying, on swimming and uh, other poses. Uh, only when you are uh, falling or uh, jumping while walking. So what we need uh, is to go here and find the jump end and create any montage. 
this anime montage goes into the only slot that we right now have, which is the default slot. We just save it and just say play montage in our skeletal mesh and the montage to play is this jump end play rate is one and nothing more to it and we need to have a slot to play this animation so let's do a slot and just type default And now if we hit play and we jump and land, we'll see that this landing animation actually plays. However, we need to change the blend time of this animation because it's too small, the animation is too short. It has to be like 0 0.05 because the animation time is just... Um, What's the maximum animation time? 0.2 seconds. So we're taking half of the animation for the blend. We could actually even go as far as getting 0.1 and 0.1. Playing now. We'll get this nice landing that looks good when you are running or you are standing in still. Okay, so this way we created the basic setup of the third-person character inside Blueprints with AGR Pro.